Well, howdy, everybody. This is your old clowning around pal, Randy Jimmy James Bowles. Now, a lot of people who've never seen anything but the ludicrous side of me think I'm a clown for some reason. But in this particular episode, I'm a hobo clown, as you can see. That's a little smiley face there. I even got a clown up here on the wall. That's a Mexican coconut mask clown. There's a lot of clowning around going on at the Bowles household. Uh, the reason that I'm acting the part of a clown, and I'm sorry I don't have any clown makeup on, the only place I could find it was Amazon, and it just didn't seem right. You know, I want to walk into a store and say, give me some clown makeup. I don't want to order it online. I mean, is that how low we've fallen? that I can only get clown makeup from Amazon. I'm doing this, this whole thing, in honor of the late, great Red Skelton, who was very funny. He played lots of different personas. He had a TV show. But he also was one of the master, the, the old masters of clown painting. He made clown paintings that are like, in Smithsonian, they're so fantastic. And this is a story about that. And I just would like to say, if you don't know who Red Skelton is, or that he was a clown painting artist, you should probably stop a minute so that you'll enjoy the story more and go to the Google, Google, see it's hard to say, the Google machine. You know why it's hard to say? Or, and duck, duck, go. I have to like pronounce it slow just so I don't mess it up. When I was a banker back in the 80s and 90s, do you think I ever thought I would say Google or you should go to duck, duck, go? Or that I'd be dressed like this in a clown outfit holding a 27-year-old beanie baby named Rover? I never thought that. But if you don't really know who Red Skelton is, this story is not going to mean anything to you. So go ahead, go to your favorite search engine, pause the video, come back, all educated, and I'll get ready to tell the story to you right now. It's, it's very short. It's probably not as long as my introduction, but it's funny, and it's from me, and I'm looking for it on my screen. Give me just a second. Okay. The title of this is, it's sort of like a news bulletin. Breaking news. Red Skelton clown painting discovered. Art world shocked. I was just perusing my favorite online art-related zine, Access Art, my total go-to source for art news and was delighted to learn that the art world has been turned on its ear by the discovery in a Missouri antique mall of a previously thought lost forever work of art. No, it's not a Picasso. That happens all the time. Pablo Picasso was extremely prolific to the extent that he actually painted in his sleep. Okay, I made that up. No, the rare find is in fact a clown painting by the late entertainer Red Skelton. Wow, what a gift. The Frisky Corners Antique Mall, located just outside Branson, Missouri, was previously best known for its abundant supply of $3 vintage Beanie Babies. Mall manager Horace P. Dingwaller said scores of people have been making the short drive from Branson while they are in town to see shows by Jack Jones, Tony, Tony Orlando, and other major superstars to see what rare treasures they can unearth in the 2,000 square foot mall located in the former home of a Kmart. Mr. Dingwall stated that the extremely pleased finder of the skeleton painting wishes to remain anonymous in order to, to avoid being overwhelmed by requests for viewing from the general public. 
and especially members of the Skelton Clown Painting Collectors Society. He is awaiting a callback from the Keno brothers, Leigh and Leslie, hoping they'll pay him a personal visit to examine, authenticate, and appraise the newly discovered work. He was hoping to be featured on their Fox Network program, Buried Treasure, the, success, the successor to their previous Find program. Unfortunately, both programs had been canceled. His first choice was Frank Fritz from American Pickers, but Frank was busy taking care of his mama's dog. See episode 7, season 4. The buyer hopes to place his newly acquired treasure in an upcoming Los Angeles auction. Mr. Dingwaller said that while the unnamed person greatly admired the work, it just didn't work with his decor. The buyer is a major collector of frog-related art and memorabilia. He estimates he has 4,000 objects in his collection. He stated that he purchased the skeleton painting as an investment. Personally, I would take the one red skeleton clown painting over an entire houseful of frogiana. Is that a word? Give me one statement piece which I can hang over the mantel rather than a, than a room full of gigraws, knickknacks, and amphibious tchotchkes. But then there's no accounting for taste. Bye-bye. I'll give you another kiss if you subscribe.